What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the iPhone 6 Plus announced and I'm going to be telling you all the features, specs, price and release date. Starting off with the design, the 5.5 inch iPhone 6 Plus is physically similar to the 4.7 inch model, although aside from the size of the display and overall form factor, there are some notable differences. Its profile almost as thin as 4.7 inch edition, with a depth of just 7.1mm, it will be noticeably slimmer than the iPhone 5S at 7.6mm. and. If it were not for 4.7 inch handset, 6.9 millimeter thick, it would be the thinnest iPhone of all time. The power button as the 4.7 inch model is located on the side of the device. This in turn makes it easier to reach the button with the one hand. Color options are once again space grey, white, gold and white plus silver. Although once again I'd imagine that the gold one will sell out first. Moving on to the camera, Phil Schiller took to the stage to discuss the all new EyeSight camera and while it remains a 8.0 megapixel offering, it appears the Cupertina has taken a leaf out of HTC's book and sought to dispel the so called megapixel myth. While HTC's rear facing shooter has fallen short though, Apple's new EyeSight promises to deliver a much better performance thanks to what Schiller describes as an all new sensor and with f2.2 aperture, remodeled true tone flash and focus pixels technology, we've no doubt that the point and shoot experience will continue to improve with both these new smartphones. Notably, the iPhone 6 Plus's camera is better than the standard iPhone 6 in that it features OIS or optical image stabilization. The smaller handset features digital image stabilization, but if you're in pursuit of the very best point and shoot experience, you'll want to be looking at the iPhone 6 Plus. The rear facing camera can also shoot 1080p video at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, while slow mo can now manage 240 frames per second, which is not bad. Moving on to the display. The iPhone 6 Plus offers a 5.5 inch Retina HD display that Apple has laden with iron strengthened glass. So it's not sapphire glass that many reports had pinned their hopes on, but nonetheless should help to protect the iPhone 6 Plus against scrapes, scratches and other cosmetic damages. The rear clincher with the iPhone 6 Plus that offers a full HD 1080p resolution which is a first for an iPhone. Even the 4.7 inch model at 1334 by 750 is no match for the 1920 by 1080 resolution of the iPhone 6 Plus if you've been waiting all these years for a 1080p smartphone from Apple, it's finally here. Incredibly, it offers 185% more pixels than the iPhone 5S and even though it's considerably larger, Users will surely notice a considerable difference when making the jump from one of the current fleet to the iPhone 6 Plus. Improved Touch ID As with the smaller iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus offers an improved 500 dpi Touch ID sensor. It will offer a more refined performance than the current specification and given that Apple is also set to add features to both iPads this fall. It looks to have become a standard feature of Apple's wider iOS experience. Moving on to the processor, the iPhone 6 Plus is powered by the dual core A8 processor that is, Apple claims, 25% more faster than the A7 of the iPhone 5S. With 50% faster graphics, it's clear to see that the all new design hasn't hindered improvements under the hood, and as a result, the entire experience should feel very slick and accomplished. Apple threw the mobile arena a bit of a curveball last year when it dropped the bombshell of the smartphone's world's first 64-bit SoC, and as was always going to be the case, the chip of the iPhone 6 Plus is another 64-bit job. There's an M8 motion coprocessor on board as well, which is designed to pick up 
on movement based date for fitness apps without draining your precious droplets of battery. Moving on to the storage, there's now a 128 gigabyte storage option to contend with, adding to the pre-existing 16 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte options. Given that the iPhone users cannot willingly add a micro SD card when they want physically storage because well, there's no micro SD slot, this move will appease the power users previously put off by the slack of anything higher than 64GB. As you may have noticed, the 32GB option for the iPhone 6 Plus has been removed. Connectivity. The iPhone 6 Plus supports 20 LTE bands which is up from 13 with the iPhone 5S and includes a neat carrier aggregation feature used to achieve optimum speed. There's also, as you might imagine, Bluetooth 4.0 and near field communication or NFC. The latter will facilitate contactless payments through iOS 8 and although the numerous features of the device may capture the headlines for now, Apple's inclusion of NFC could prove very significant to the way transactions are proceed from here on in. Moving on to the battery, Apple has made some big claims about the iPhone 6 Plus's battery life with up to 24 hours of talking time over 3G. This is quite a leap from 10 hours on the iPhone 5S and according to Apple's estimates it should also outlast the 4.7 inch iPhone 6 by considerable margins. We will have to wait however to see how the device performs in the real world test but for now the iPhone 6 Plus's battery seems to may have finally bucked the trends of iPhone offering terrible battery life. Moving on to the software, there are a few neat software features to help consumers adapt to the larger display of the iPhone 6 Plus. The reachability feature, which is also accessible to those on the standard iPhone 6, sees the interface slide downwards when the home button is double tapped, making it incredibly easy for users to navigate the entire UI with just one hand. It's very novel, innovative idea from Apple and appears to have resolved the common issue of phablet users being forced to either use two hands or strain their digit. Another software specific feature adorning the iPhone 6 Plus is that iPad like interface. Not only does the layout structure follow that of the company's tablet when in landscape mode, as rumoured in the run up of today's keynote, but throughout the iPhone 6 Plus borrows much of its design language from the iPad. It's clear from the onset that despite their aesthetics similarities, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus differ considerably and in many key areas. And as expected, the Plus offers quite a bit more than just a bigger screen. Now finally the moment you've probably all been waiting for, the price and release date. The iPhone 6 Plus is pricing the 16GB, the 64GB and 128GB models at £189 for the 16GB or $299, £249 for the 64GB or $399, £310 for the 128GB or $499 contract. Meanwhile, the pricing of unlocked mobiles has been disclosed yet. And yes, there is no 32GB version, instead we get a 128GB model priced at £310 or $499. The iPhone 6 Plus will be available for pre-order on September the 12th and will hit shelves on September the 19th. I hope you have liked this video, I hope I have given you useful information. If you would like to go and check out more information about the iPhone 6 and the Apple Watch, be sure to go to the description and check out where I've covered all the information about them devices too. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily. And finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. I hope you've liked this video. Please subscribe, rate and peace.